Hello everyone, I'm back to complete the second video, the final installment for the Diving Corn inspired abstract painting, specifically referencing the Ocean Park series. So we're going to start off with some paint mixing demos. we're going to make some nice thin see-through washes and mute some colors and complete this painting. So let's go. As you can see, I have cleaned up the drawing just a little bit and gotten it ready to paint. So I went through and erased some of the things that <clears throat> need to be touched up here and there and tightened it up a little. Although I did leave some of the ends here a little expressive. And I think that'll fit in pretty good with Diving Corn's work. So once again, I'm not making a carbon copy of what Diving Corn's doing, but I am going to go ahead and try to emulate his style a little, right? So we're kind of doing this in the style of, and no matter how much you try to copy someone's work, uh, a little bit of you usually slips out into it, you know, unless you spend years and years uh, figuring out how to exactly copy an artist. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and mix our colors. So I'm going to be using probably primary colors. That's what diving corn seem to use a lot of primary, uh, not pri not all primary, but you know uh, I'm going to probably stick with some blues and reds. Maybe I'll throw in some violet, um, black, white, or maybe some really dark versions of the colors that I'm using instead of black. But I'm going to add a lot of water. I'm gonna make a wash. Okay, so see how that's transparent now. There's a lot of water in there. I want my lines to show through, but I also wanna muddle these colors a little. There's two ways I can do this. I could add a tiny little bit of red to this blue. And that'll turn it in kind of violet, depending on how much I put in there. But I just wanna put enough in there to kind of dirty up the blue. Another thing I could do, so see now it's not so pure, it's not, now it's not so pure and it, it's a little more muddled and, and these are the kind of colors I really like and I think that's one of the reasons I like the Diving Corn work, the Diving Corn series, um, the Ocean Park series is because he does use some muted colors. Another thing I can do is I can add just a little bit of black. So black is a great way to mute and subdue colors. So now I've got this very muddled blue. So can add a little more. Okay, very subdued, very beautiful color we've ended up making here now. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more water now that I've added more paint. All right, so now I'm gonna just kind of paint this however it catches my eye and just do whatever, you know, whatever takes me. It's okay to have brush strokes. Diving corn had a lot of brush strokes, if you remember. I'm gonna keep doing that. All right, and then we pick another place to kind of spread this out. We want this to be. Uh, to have unity and balance. Maybe I'll put some in this corner, that'll balance it out, but also because I dripped some right there, so <laughs> I might be, uh, might kind of be stuck doing that now. <laughs> and this one I'm gonna do a little lighter, just to give myself some variety. I'm gonna skip that for right now in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I don't leave my options open. All right, maybe now I will stick to mix to a red, change to that. Once again, I'm going to muddle the color though. I'm 
You see I'm mixing in the middle. I don't just dump all my black over into my red and then mix it because if it became too dark, it would take a gallon of red to bring it back to as light as I want it. Okay, so I think that's something about where I want to be. Add a little water. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. All right. And then maybe find another place. I could do a very dark red right here. Kind of fade it out a little. And then do an even lighter red. The way I'm going to make a lighter red, I'm not going to add any white to it. I'm going to use the white of the paper. All right, so I'm liking that so far. Maybe I'll keep this over here white, and maybe I'll start adding some violets. That could be fun if I mix my blue that I made with my red that I made. See what happens. Maybe mix a little more black. Let's mix over here in another container, right? All right, now, now we're coming up with something, a very muddled violet. Another way that I muted my violet was to mix a warm red with a cool blue. We'll learn more about color temperature later on in the year. same time. Then maybe I'll kind of make this section right here somehow, somehow kind of end what we're doing here. I'll make some uh, Applied lines, maybe just kind of by blurring these two different colors. I'm going to muse together. I want to add a little more blue to my to my color over here. made a blooper. I think we're going to stick to blue and red and the combination thereof. Alright, so I could leave this white right here. I think that'll work. I'm kind of thinking about adding some more things to it though to, to kind of balance these out. I've got uh, this white square here. Maybe I could 
come back and add a little bit of a line here. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's too. Maybe it's gonna be overboard. Maybe I'm gonna tear a hole in it. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I'm not patient. I'm not patient. Okay. Uh, but you know, I kind of like that idea. That kind of looks good to me. Or if I can. No, not that kind of pencil. Okay. Yeah, I'll just have to wait and be patient. But I kind of like what I, what's what's going on there. So, um, now is it balanced? I accidentally kind of balanced this out pretty decent in my opinion. Um, and I've done this by having this really dark blue here and this very large medium violet. So it's not as dark as this over here, but it's, uh, it's very, it's very large and it's very far over to the edge. So it ends up balancing it out pretty well. Uh, I wish I kind of talked about what I was thinking more when I was doing this. Uh, that's the problem with art is, um, it's very visual and sometimes it's not always easy to communicate verbally what you're trying to accomplish when you're focused so hard on actually doing this very visual work and all this decision making. So it, there's a lot of decision making that happens on the fly while you're making art. Uh, things are constantly changing, everything's shifting and and you're doing a lot of stuff on the fly. Your brain's actually doing a lot of calculations and you're in that zone that it doesn't feel very verbal. All right, so uh, just looking at this composition, uh, you know, as it dries, it's probably gonna get a little lighter. And so I may change my mind about some things. Also, it's a little low contrast. So one of the things I may do, I may switch to, uh, right now I got a 2B pencil. I may switch to an 8B pencil here and darken up some of this to kind of punch up my contrast on my blacks. So they could be much stronger. All right. Okay, so that made a very big difference. All right, so this is our exemplar for our diving corn piece. All right, everyone, until next time.